Oh God. Brent up some KJ and DJ going on that, but seems like Joe Snappy is trying to get everybody involved. When when does he know it's time to look for his own or look obviously he took over that game. What's he do? Yeah, you don't coach that. It's not like we were drawing up plays for him. Yeah, I mean we were drawing it up to keep the ball in his hands late, but and and you know, create a a uh, an action uh, or a next action, and uh, you know that's why next level people love him is he has the ability uh, to step back and make a three. He has the ability to get fouled. Uh, he knows what the game needs. Um, I've had him a very very short time. I would love to take credit for all of that, and I I can take credit for none. He's 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 got a gift, and uh, uh, you know I. I I think it was the first couple of games of the year, you know, he took two or three shots in a game and it was just what the game brought to him. Um, there's no force. Um, I've learned that, you know, he's going to make a mistake or two, let him play through it. Um, and, and he's going to level out. And uh, uh, so I don't doubt that, um, uh, that he's going to make the right play most of the time. Coach, would it be fair to say your team took a very big step in terms of the um grit and physicality today in this game? Yeah, the one thing I'm, I'm, I, I liked about today was we, we, we got a nice lead and we never, we never wavered. We, we stayed, we stayed true to it. And it was, you know, it kind of got up there to 15, 16, 17 and get to nine or 10. And, and, and then, uh, you know, we would make a play. There was, the, this group was unwavering. They made the, the plays when they needed to make them. And, uh, that's not easy to do. And, uh, um, you know, you give you give Arkansas a lot of credit. They've got very very talented players. Um, you know, Thero was uh, uh, tremendous today. Uh, Z was tremendous, and, and yet uh, we always seem to have the answer. And, and then we we got key rebounds when we needed to and key stops. Brad, I counted in um, the, over the course of the game four separate loose balls and four times you guys shot on the floor and retained possession on all four of those opportunities. How big does that make you? Oh, it's the, we talked about it in the locker room. There were, there were four opportunities to get on the floor and we were the first one on the floor every single time. And we can talk about, you know, what actions we ran and who made this shot. Those are the plays that will ultimately keep you moving forward in, in March and in the NCAA tournament. And uh, we have built our program on that and, and that's our culture. And, um, you know, every possession is a, is a, is a little battle and, and, uh, to, to get extra opportunities was was huge. So I'm we, we got a lot of guys making a lot of really good plays. Brad, I want to ask uh, about your bench tonight. How does it feel for you this time of month to get you to depend on these guys to get done? It's tremendous. I mean, how about the you know Jake Davis, uh, Draven, uh, you know what Merez is doing? Um, I couldn't be more pleased with what Merez is doing on the defensive side and, and his presence and that. Um, you know, athleticism and, and grit and, um, you know, everybody's, everybody's contributing. Will, you know, obviously is our leading scorer coming off the bench. And, and when you're more productive coming off the bench, uh, in some cases, um, you know, they're, they're adding something. And, and, you know, when you want the pieces of the puzzle to fit, the bench is where it starts. And, and, and this group's starting to, to understand roles. They're starting to believe in their roles and, and, and really step into to what those those things are uh, looking like. If you were asked at the next time you did, like who might be the closer and like the help or you didn't know, was, was, as it, was Casper's like kind of emerged in that role or was tonight his turn and maybe next week it's somebody else? I don't have the answer to that. I, tonight it was him. You know, you kind of ride the hot hand um, you know, I think we've done that with Will a little bit. I think we've done it with, um, you know, with, with Kylan. We felt, you know, really good about what those situations are. I think when you're trying to close a game, you like, um, you know, guys who can score it in multiple ways and you like guys who can get to the foul line and make free throws. Uh, but, um, and most importantly, not afraid of the moment. Um, but, if, you know, maybe Tommy in some sense, uh, Ben, I, I don't know. I, tonight it was it was Casperus, and and he did it very instinctive and and uh, um, just out of the natural flow of the game. All right. Right. Uh, Boogie Bland shoots two for twelve. Extremely talented player. It's kind of like Kylan Boswell's defense on you. Yeah, Boogie's probably the best. You know, considered the best freshman guard in the country. And you know what he's been doing, um, you know, all season long. And and 
you know, to Boogie's defense, he played in some foul trouble. Um, but I think, again, it's that's the K.J. Kylan factor as well, you know, having to defend uh, defend those guys downhill on their drives. But, uh, uh, you know, Kylan's really kind of four for four, starting with the Sears game and, and against Alabama and then the, the two home games taking 20-point perimeter scores and, 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 and making it very hard for him. And, uh, uh, you know, tonight was no different. We, we paid a lot of attention to Boogie and, and didn't, didn't want him to get going. Uh, Kylan has a knack for being able to take that away. You brought 90 points on that defense. I think you said this is what you envisioned when you put this roster together. What about it? Was the most encouraged? Yeah, it was, it was well-rounded. It was, it was, it was ball movement. It was the next actions. It, nothing was, uh, that's a top 10 defense. I think they were 10th in, in defensive efficiency coming in and, and, and to do it with, um, multiple guys and, and the spacing and to do it in different ways. Um, you know, I, Tommy killed a possession late cause he took about eight dribbles into a post up. I said, I don't want you posting up. And, and, when you can keep the floor spread and, and get downhill and, you know, it's modern basketball today, you know, and, and we've, we recruited to it and we've got guys who can do it and, and, uh, uh, you know, hopefully we continue to, to keep adding and keep growing. Uh, Brad, you, uh, you mentioned their top 10 defense. I mean, they're also top 15 in the turnover rate. You guys only had 11 turnovers. What was the key in taking care of the ball? Yeah. Maturity. We're growing up a little bit. Um, you know, I, we saw a little bit of that against Little Rock, who was another top 20 team in terms of turnovers forced. Um, you know, we had one, I think Kylan threw one to Ben where he didn't come meet it late. And, you know, KJ had a couple right there at the start of the second half. But for the most part, it's, you know, we want people to pressure us. We want them to come out and extend the floor and and pick us up. And, and that's to our advantage. Playing, playing in the open court in as much space as we can create is – uh, advantage Illinois. I probably shouldn't have said that and given away a scouting report, but, um, but you know, it's, it's just um, uh, maturity guys, understanding two foot jump stops, guys, understanding ball toughness um, that comes with experience. And we, we, we've, we've been fortunate. We've seen some good defenses. So it's, it's been, uh, um, you know, trial by error there. You know. Scott, you, have, uh, you mentioned the bench, but at the end of the first half, Kylan, Ben, uh, Trey, all of them with fouls and you know, grew the lead still. I just, what, what did you like in that moment? Yeah, my hat's off to those guys doing their job, not being afraid. Um, you know, I think Jake hit a big three in that sequence. I think that, uh, um, you know, that's kind of when you've got to figure out where we're going to get it. I think uh, we've got opportunities to get to the foul line, you know, late in, in a half. Those are things that are advantageous in those moments when you do have guys in foul trouble, figuring out how to get fouled, go to the line. Um, but, uh, you know, Merez, uh, I thought was terrific. I bet, um, uh, you know, Draven gave us a lot of really good minutes on both ends of the court. So that's what you asked for is just, is just really good support and, and, uh, and productivity. When those guys come in. So Brian and then finish with Brian, uh, how does this uh, match up with Arkansas coming up? Uh, a lot of people, a lot of conversations in CBS and, uh, you know, this is um, uh, Brooks Downey runs this, and and we we've, we've dealt with Brooks for a long, long time, and uh, you know to get the opportunity on Thanksgiving Day uh, in such a great city um, that loves basketball, great venue, and then to play a Hall of Fame coach, um, and I think it speaks. You know, I'm going to brag about us. I think it speaks volumes to where our program has gotten. Uh, what a crowd we had today. Um, and I think that, um, uh, you know, when we keep moving the needle, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's all that comes to fruition and, and we jumped at the opportunity and, and a lot of people do a lot of work and, um, but, uh, you know, here we are against the Hall of Fame coach on Thanksgiving following the, you know, Lions Bears and, and we know there are a lot of eyeballs on that today. So, uh, very excited to be a part of that. Coach, maybe more than any other game so far, you have interchangeable point guards with Kylan handling the ball in the first half and KJ in the second half. You know, how much of a luxury is that for you? And, and what's that kind of pressure does that put on the defense where you can switch guys back and forth? Yeah, it's always been something I've enjoyed 
doing, you know, and I go back to Andres and Trent and, and, and IO, you know, I've had multiple, multiple handlers. I, I, I like being able to take advantage of the mismatch that way, the hot hand that way, uh, run different actions that way. Uh, you know, both of those guys fit that. Uh, you add Will in there. Will's a, Will, we run Will at, at, at point guard spot a lot in practice as well. So, uh, you know, that's, that's who we are. We're always going to continue to have those guys um, on the court. And, and uh, you add Draven to that. And you know, we got a lot of guys who can handle and make plays. Last one here. Uh, Brad, you know, Tommy had a block. He blocked Boogie at the rim, you know, and then I think Boogie probably thought he was going to get contact. And he didn't. Then he hit some threes. It just seems like Tommy had to go from both ends from the very get go. Just what, what you think his all around game really came up the box? Yeah, the best game he's played. Uh, and not just because he made shots. And, and I, I've said this many times Tommy's one of our best shooters. Tommy is a we've we've seen practices. We had a we had a day where he was nine of eleven from three, and and he is that guy. Um, our our challenge has been at the other end, uh, you know, where Z is an elite shot blocker, and and doing it at that, getting Tommy uh, dialed in in our ball screen coverage, and he's so cerebral. He's very very smart, uh, but uh, you know, challenging shots, using his length, using using his. Uh, uh, you know, ability to go challenge shots has been something we've been working with him on. And Z does a very instinctive. Tommy plays more position. And, and uh, but to see him do that today, now he's set an expectation that I can get on his rear end when he doesn't. So uh, he was dominant today. I, I thought he was terrific on, on both sides. Can I ask you one, one more? Sure. Really rich for number 24. I have to say yep. about him as a recruit. I thought he gave Arkansas a good uh, lift off the bench, kind of got downhill. I was curious what you thought of, of Billy. Scouting Arkansas, maybe from what you saw today, maybe what he can do. Elite open court player. Um, I think he's a guy that, um, um, you know, we we weren't necessarily concerned about him shooting it. I don't, I don't know how well he shoots it. That's We were playing him more as a driver. Uh, I think he's an elite defender. Uh, for a young guy to, to, to come up with the steals he does, get in the passing lanes, and then he's what we call a head rammer. He just gets downhill. Um, and he's, he's got a great body, great, great physical <laughs> tools, uh, plays above the rim and, and, uh, there's no doubt he's going to be, he's going to impact that basketball team a lot, uh, uh, in moving forward.